Hi guys, it's Lynn here. I hope you're having an incredible day. Now guys, this is just going to be a quick video to show you, um, well to tell you that I'm potting up the most amazing plants from our very wonderful, very kind, beautiful and generous friend Olga, who has an amazing channel here on YouTube called Olga's Dreamland. So please do go over and subscribe guys, links up above and down below to Olga's amazing channel. She has some beautiful, beautiful cacti and succulents and she's blessed to be living in Greece so she, ha she has the good weather too. And she very kindly sent us a load of amazing plants and guys links up above to the video where me and Hans did the unboxing video of all of the amazing plants so it show you there in detail. And this is just, a, we've just started to um, plant up the very first one so far, the elephant plant, <laughs> elephant ear plant. And um, we've got quite a lot to, to pot up. So we're just showing you now the very beginning and what we're gonna do, rather than do a whole video, because it would take absolutely ages of potting them all up. We're gonna show you what they all look like when they're all potted up and show you the, the finished results. Now that's Euphorbia milli all potted up and labelled and we have the little, the little geranium here right in front of the, um, the window in our kitchen so that's getting loads of light there as you can see loads of sun it's been a beautiful day today and then these are quite a few of the other ones now to pot up and what we've done is we've put them all into the pots so we know that they've all got the right size pot so that's great and then um, obviously we're making up the compost mix there and um, what I'm going to do now is write in all the labels. Um, Olga was amazing because she actually labelled every every individual plant, which is brilliant because so many like in the past have had cuttings from people who so say, I really don't know what they are, but I want to send you a cutting of this and that. Olga's very kindly, she's put all the names. So I'm going to be doing now and writing out the label on here and if you want to know the correct way to write a plant label guys you must check out um, my amazing fiance Hans's youtube channel um links up above and down below as well and um and the video has got how to write a label and it might sound obvious guys but believe it or not i got caught out on this so um links up above to that video and please do go over and subscribe to him and um these is what we got to pot up here so obviously we've got all the pots. This one we've just potted up now. <laughs> Beautiful. I'm going to be writing the labels out. And I'm going to show you what we've um, done with some of the serious ones um, that we've got upstairs at the moment. I'm going to take you up there. Now what we've done with a couple of the cuttings of the serious, we've got the serious Peruvianus here. And also we have the um, Apuntia subulata. Um, it's a gorgeous big cut in there. And we have the little Echinopsis that um, Olga says, I think it's an Echinopsis and I'm pretty sure it is Olga, definitely. So that one we've got here. And what we've done here, we've got them into glass vases. And um, the reason being is that because obviously it's, it's still winter at the moment and we could pop them up into dry soil and, and then leave them until the spring and then treat them again with as cuttings they will send out roots but we have great success and um, Hans told me about this with a lot of the, the cuttings that we do with the tall serious ones is you literally put them into um, a jar make sure that there's plenty of aeration so the air can get around it and obviously do this after the it has formed a callus so any humidity or anything like that is, is not going to hurt the plant so it's formed a callus and you will find that after after a few um, weeks they will send out roots absolutely amazing and we've done this very successful with a lot of the the serious ones they send out roots and then you just pop them up in soil and treat them as normal normal cacti so um there you go Olga you see they're in our lovely window here in the bathroom get loads and loads of sunshine and it's going to be keeping our little Tradescantia um, seedlings company too now, I'll just show you where we've put um, the uh, uh, the Agave Americana Variegata. This one we've already potted up here. And we have this in the plant room, which gets tons of um, tons of sun. As you see, it's starting to go dark now because it's the evening. But um, we've got the grow lights up above there, as you can see. So it gets loads of light. And, and this will help to... Um, help to give any additional light and as I say some of them are going to be moving back into the polytunnel again probably late March when the, the risk of frost goes and uh, this is our obviously our plant room plant grow room where we have a lot of cuttings and um, a lot of seedlings and everything else in here <laughs> so that's the American, um, American agave americana um, beautiful little plant here and then I'm going to carry on with the ones downstairs 
So guys, this is what we've got left to obviously pot up. I've got the pots already, as I said earlier. And I'm going to be potting them all up right in the labels. And obviously I'm not going to film the whole process because it's going to take a long time, as I said before. <laughs> but what I'm going to be doing, this is what they're all like now. I'm then going to show you what they're all like when they're all potted up at the end. And um, you'll see that uh, obviously there's going to be finding new homes for them. The majority of them are going to be going into the polytunnel because they're all pretty cold, hardy succulents. And as I say, we, we do have our polytunnel heated. And any that aren't uh, cold, hardy or probably need to be um, treated completely as cuttings we're going to have in the plant room. Now guys, that's um, over half of them potted up and some put away and the rest of these all potted up and then just got these left to do so um so far so good and um nearly done <laughs> now guys that's some all potted up and labeled and as i say i've got some upstairs already in the plant room and also some in the in the bathroom as well and a lot of these are going to be going out into the polytunnel and some into the grow room upstairs and um olga Thank you again so much, a million, billion, trezillion times for gifting me and Hans these incredible, amazing, amazing plants. And as I say, there's just not enough words to say thank you. Um, it is just remarkable. And um, guys, please do go over and subscribe to Olga, um, Olga's Dreamland here on YouTube. And as I say, links are above and also down below too. So guys, thanks so much for watching. I want to send you loads of love, heaps of happiness, and tons and tons of plant power, as always, from Ireland. And until the next video, guys, bye. Yeah, bye from Hansi. <laughs>